Hi everyone, Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice picture. I'm not in a great mood today. Uh oh. Why? Number one, How you didn't get a lot of sleep this, last night. This, uh, Probably a couple of hours at best because it was too hot. Uh, I was too Ooh. restless. Ooh. Two, I was too full of hay fever. I've gone this whole not year good. without having any hay fever symptoms at all. It's been utter bliss. I don't know what hay fever the last is. Last two days. Itchy eyes, streaming eyes. Okay. It's getting me a little bit raged. Just don't so, eat hay. I decided to put this lovely picture of a couple of beautiful puppies. <laughs> ladies. For your viewing pleasure. Hey, nice try, and dude. And also to keep hey. everyone calm and relaxed. Okay. Because we're also going to be dealing with a little bit of drama Woo in the video today as well. Because you may have heard... Uh, Asmund Gold and t and &E have had a bit of a spit spat uh, recently. And the reason why I'm giving my take on this is because uh, I think I can come at this from a very relevant perspective. Because you talk shit about a, you too, a, yeah. An understanding of Ooh, uh, what is going on here. Uh, and I've been s not, s you know, very slightly dragged into it. So why not give my okay. take? And also because you're thirsty bitches. Hey. You know you are. Hey. And you've been poking me to hey. do this. So self-awareness, I love it. You know, probably the worst day of the week for a lot of people. I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to give you what you want. So uh yeah, I I'd like to discuss this as well because I've got a few things that I'd like to say if you don't mind. And I also want to get into the whole aspect of streamers watching YouTube videos, reacting to them and how it genuinely impacts YouTube as well, because I do think that's uh, quite important as well. So okay. apparently, apparently, uh, T and E called out Asmin Gold for the behavior of his viewers, his stream viewers, and also Asmin Gold himself for, right? for not keeping them in check. Oh, that's right. Uh, apparently, that's one thing that he can do now. Which, whenever, by the way, I want to say this again. Whenever Taliesin cr critiqued me and criticized me for allowing negative comments about his wife, I apologized and I fixed the situation because I thought that that was a bad decision for me to do and it was not something that I wanted to have happen. I, I, I absolutely did. I, I did apologize for that because it was, it was the wrong thing to do. I shouldn't have let it happen and I, I moved forward. Okay, he acknowledged that. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this idea that I'm like, yeah, again, like this, like, ogre or whatever, it's, it's insane. Where I'm talking specifically about a someone, okay. uh, you'll hear me say, I do not, in any shape, way, or form, condone you going after them, you know. Uh, when I do those videos, they are done for your entertainment purposes only, okay. and not for anyone to, to dog pile on or, or have a go. Uh, so I disavow, as I always say, anyone that has a go at any party in this video, that is not the intention at all. I am big enough and ugly enough and old enough to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Indeed. Okay. All right. That's so, good. Uh, he references that uh, his viewers have apparently had a go at uh, himself. Uh, Josh Allen, a uh, law World of Warcraft community manager. It's never happened. And uh, Bay. So I, I want to actually, I, I want to create a specific example of this. I, I don't think I ever mentioned this, right? Is that whenever, um, whenever, you know, the Blizzard did all the firings, there were a lot of people saying, oh, they should have fired Lore. I never said that. I never said that. I didn't read donations that said that. Because I thought that that would be an abuse of power. It wasn't talking about that. I'm just saying, I, 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 I never said that. I never supported anything that said that. Even though I was personal friends with Caden and I had never sp personally talked to Lore, I still never said that. From Final Boss, which sounds a really weird thing to say. Hey, okay. man, have you seen that bay from Final Boss? Anyway, it was that dog piling. Oh, my bad. Um, so uh, he uh, has this quite articulated rant Asmund Gold and, and is quoted as saying with great power <laughs> comes great responsibility because nothing says having a rant 
like quoting Uncle Ben from Spider-Man. And this, and that, and, as Mother Teresa said, uh, oof, look, I found another tea leaf. Uh, yes, that, that makes people take you seriously. Asmongold has great power, but he doesn't okay. accept that it gives him great responsibility. Now, I'm doing a slightly weird voice because, uh, look, I'm just going to be totally honest with you. T&E's a massive hypocrite, which we'll get into uh, shortly. Asmongold Hi. is punching down, and he must never punch down. <laughs> oh, really? We need to be better than that. I have no respect for people that punch down. Oh, there really? There it is. You mustn't respect yourself, then. When he slagged off Bay from Final Boss uh, TV on his stream, Bay had to leave social media for a couple of days. You should thank him. Social media is a toxic pit. True. Because there were so True. many effing idiots giving him shizzles. Hmm. Right. Shizzles. This is where I'm going to interject myself, okay? Because um, I get people coming at me all the time saying okay as are you going to respond to t and e as are you going to say anything about what t and e is saying about you Back as, the server with Russ uh, why is t and e going off at you on a video and i get this on a, a semi-regular basis and i've had this yeah for months upon months upon months probably yep. a year or more now yep and uh probably going back to roughly when i had about 130 of thousand subscribers uh, i've just gone over two hundred thousand recently and hey. uh T&E hey, have out. always had many more subscribers than me around 240 to 260 right something along those kind of lines so that mean they're punching so down by his own uh, words he's punching down at me on a constant basis do i respond what no. Do I get involved in his drama? No. Oh my God. Uh, how do I respond? I say, I just don't care. I don't care about what he says. Because wow. I don't. I truly don't. This is, um, oh my God. But to his own words, he's punching down on me. Yeah. I'm a much smaller channel than him. His videos get 100 to 200,000 odd viewers per video. He's the little guy, by the way. So that he gets a lot of eyes on the product. So that's a lot of people that he's preaching whatever he wants to preach. And another reason, he can say what he wants. And somebody invite me if you have Russ Feather up on your server. To say what he wants Alt about code me. Zero, two, Whether two, or not I agree with it, disagree with it, is irrelevant. If I say something and he wants to call out one of my takes, that is up to him or her. I don't know who does the videos. To them. Should we just say them? That's right. Uh, it's 2019. So. so I just let them get on with it. I have a pinned tweet that says, uh, particularly because of uh, Article 13 and all that kind of stuff, but uh -oh. anyone that wants to use uh, my footage for, for humorous, critical, commentary, uh, you know, transformative purposes, go for it. Go for it. I have no problems with that whatsoever. So okay. uh, I don't care okay. what he says, there you go. but he's well within his rights. They are well within their rights to say what they want about me. But you can't then be a massive hypocrite when it comes back on you. Because that suddenly looks like you can give it, but you can't take it. Yeah. And I've had times where they've tr challenged me on Twitter and stuff like that. I've got them on mute now, so I don't hear what they say. But where they've had a go on Twitter, and then I have to deal yep. with all of their crazy followers on Twitter who dogpile me. And all I do is I just end up muting a bunch of people. And so they can just scream into the void. And to be honest with you, I find it quite cathartic because it just clears out, you know, the usual suspects, if you get where I'm coming from. They need to do this on Twitch. They need to make it to where you get banned in chat and you see your message go into chat. And so you're typing, man, I fucking hate you. You're such a loser. And you're typing that, but you're actually shadow banned. And you're the only person that can see your chat. And so you're sitting there talking shit to somebody and you don't even know that you're shadow banned. You have no idea at all. So you have to open up a second monitor to make sure that your shit talking is actually on the screen, man. That is what Blizzard, not Blizzard, that's what Twitch needs to do. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to talk to somebody at Twitch fucking like this week. Next time I talk to somebody at Twitch, maybe not this week. Next time I talk to somebody at Twitch, I am going to, I, I'm going to try to do that, okay? YouTube has that. It's a great idea. They really should do that. So it just makes my life a little bit easier at the end of the day. But 
you therefore can't say, okay. oh, we're getting dogpiled on Twitter. Oh, we're getting criticized on Twitter. Yep. When you do it yourself to people below you in terms of the pecking order oh. of subscribers and views per oh. video. It just makes you look like a hypocrite. It makes you look like somebody that can't sure does. take what they give. So, um, he uh, got a tweet going out here. Okay. I'd like to thank all of Asmund Gold's viewers currently filling up our mentions and DMs. Turn off your DMs. And totally proving <laughs> our point about being dogpiled, etc. Et yeah, exactly. So, it doesn't give you a good look, you know? It doesn't give you a good look when you, you come out with this sort of uh, opinion. And then we have this, which I'd just like to, to bring out, if you don't mind. This is Mark Kern. Oh, Mark Kern. I like Mark. I do uh, too. I think Mark is a very, very level-headed person. He was <laughs> part of the OG uh, WoW development team, lead developer, I believe. Uh, and uh, I see the way that he deals with people on Twitter, yeah. deals with people both positively and people who uh, come at him. Right. And he does it in a much better manner than I'll ever be able to do. A very relaxed, calm manner and he's always willing to hear people's point of view whether they're a detractor or a fan uh and when he gives Seems his accurate. takes on things uh they usually come from a very logical rational reasoned place so okay. mark's got a, a lot of respect and if it wasn't for mark i'm not saying he's solely responsible but i think mark when he threw his weight uh, behind the whole uh, please oh the legacy thing please, yeah just give the people what yeah. they want which is exactly vanilla wow uh, when blizzard closed down uh, nostalrius it was a very impassioned got, got, video from somebody who obviously had a a big input a big impact in the original vanilla uh, content Okay. And I think yeah, it did course. lend a good bit of credence of weight. And then you have your soda pop in any Asmund Gold who pushed it even further and further, plus others. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, diminish anyone else that had involvement. We're talking about me, It was a big concerted effort. And lo and behold, BlizzCon 2017, Classic WoW gets announced. And in five or six Dude, weeks, I still away, remember that day, man. Released. I still fucking remember so, that day. It was uh, such know, a, a good day. A lot of respect for the person uh, and whatnot. And his take on this situation is, so, uh, T&E and, e and Asmund Gold are at it. Uh, it seems very familiar. WoW Classic takes off, and small e-slebs go looking to stir shit up by latching onto the bigger names uh, in drummed-up faux controversy. I'm with Asmund Gold on this, and it's uh, right to punch back. I actually, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that they're doing it to drum up controversy. Like, maybe, but... I, I, I'm not entirely sold on that being the case. Which we'll get to in a second. To which uh, Teeny respond by saying, uh, fuck off, Mark. That That's how uh, they respond to um, the OG WoW developer team. I'm not trying to stir up shizzle for attention. I just don't like how me and my waifu get thousands of shitty that's a lot. messages every time. He reacts uh, one of our videos on his stream, which, which is often. Then why'd you host me whenever I decided to, whenever I was reacting to your video? If you didn't like it, why would you, why would you host me and then give even more people to do it? I, I, I don't understand. Like, I mean, that seems, I, I mean, I'm sorry. It seems like a mixed message. It does. It seems like a very, very mixed message. I mean, like any reasonable person would see that. And like, I had concerns about watching his videos and it was the same issue that I had with, with Hazel's videos, right? Like he host, yeah, he hosted me because you disagreed. Oh, yeah. with me. You and don't that? forget, didn't he uh, slide in like an inside joke about you having to pay Pilaw five hundred bucks? I because... don't remember, honestly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. He oh did yes, that. he did in one of his videos. Yeah, he did. I mean, he clearly knew you were gonna watch the video. Yeah. It didn't seem like he had a problem with it then. Odd. So that's interesting very interesting i want the opposite of attention i want him to leave us alone which is why you spent the past two days tweeting about it non-stop for every waking hour of the day well um that's just a lie yeah that's just an out and out lie 
Uh, you don't get thousands every time he reacts to a video. If you did, Twitch would be involved, YouTube would be involved, whoever would be involved, the police would probably be involved. So that's just a big fat lie. Yeah. When you have to resort to this sort of yeah, hyperbolic uh, terminology, again, it doesn't make people sympathize with you because it clearly looks as daft as it sounds. My own personal opinion and my own personal experience with Asmund Gold and people watching uh, him watching my videos on his channel, uh, I think Zach is fair. Whether Zach agrees or disagrees with my video hey. is irrelevant. Hey. I think he's fair. Uh, and again, just like I said with TNE, he has every right to give his opinion about my content. Yep. Because it's Where public. do we draw the line of punching up and punching down? Hmm? Where? Where do we draw that? Do we say, oh, once you've got to a certain level of money, a certain level of viewers, you can no longer comment on other people? Well, that's not fair. Because then that means everyone who's down can just constantly punch up and up and up. Yep. And that's you right. can't respond. You can't retort. Rationalizing harassment. That's not fair. If you're going to provoke conversation, if you want to truly talk about something, there's got to be a two-way flow. And I've seen that Zach has liked uh, some of my videos. He's giggled at them. Yep. And I, I know I that have. he's criticized some of them. Yes. And that's entirely his right to do so. Yes. How has his uh, audience responded to me? I've had no problem with his audience whatsoever. None whatsoever. Yeah, um, it's I been fine. I can't even recall. Legitimately, I cannot even recall a negative encounter with them. Because I think, regardless of whether or not you're intelligent or not so intelligent, and when I say not so intelligent, I'm talking more academically orientated. Okay. Whether you're young or old, I think people are very perceptive about others. Yes, you can be naive, but I think for the most part, people are very Somebody perceptive. Around they can rares up, truly harvester. see somebody's motivation, and therefore they can truly see where somebody's coming from a position that they truly believe in, or if they're a phony. That is just trying to uh, get views on their channel, or purposely trying to cause controversy, or purposely trying to cause a reaction. I think they can see the genuine hmm. motivation of the content creator. And if somebody comes across as disingenuous, if somebody comes across as a phony, then that, I believe, opens yourself more up for this sort of business uh, of some sort of confrontation than not. Yeah, of course. And in actual fact, I remember uh, Zach uh, hosting me a two, two, two or three years, I don't know, two, two and a half years ago or something. Is this a 6.2? When I was just playing Final Fantasy 15. And I had oh, yeah. uh, 100 people watching me I remember that. like that i think it's before i'd come back to wow um, yeah that was a long time ago and i was fishing i was doing the most mundane thing you could possibly do which was fish so i was just in this completely uber relaxed sort of frame of mind you know not very uh, energetic just kind of like doing my thing and then zach hosts me for like i don't know at the time i think it was like three and a half thousand people something along those okay. kind of Back lines. me around with the rare up again you know nothing like the numbers that he gets today which is yeah. like 10 times the amount and i'm uh, doing pretty well reaction did i get from from his audience yep um sing ocean man 3k andy for his oh yeah sing wait ocean i actually man remember this his. holy shit so i did <laughs> and we had some banter and i think yeah. something ridiculous like one and a half to two thousand of them actually stuck around to the end of the stream yeah there you go and we were just just talking about this and that and other so my own personal um take my own personal uh, res uh response to the his audience has actually been a very positive one from from my perspective but even if uh zach has been critical of a video i haven't had any comeback from them Okay. Uh, you know, maybe they could okay. see my point of view and still see Zach's point of view. Yes. Uh, maybe some people actually agreed with my point of view and didn't agree with Zach's point of view. That's because true. People, that you happens. Know, can have their own opinion. Also, let's get on to the the topic of actually reacting to uh, videos, streamers okay. reacting to videos from YouTubers, and the effect that is it, that it has. 
does it either boost a channel or does it take viewers away from your channel? I would say neither. I don't think it boosts the responses to your video and I don't think it has a detrimental effect as well. Okay. Uh, why? Because if somebody is going to watch your content, they're going to come directly to your content. Regardless yeah. of whether or not somebody else is talking about it, they'll still view it in their own time, in their own manner, and they'll respond to it accordingly. Okay. Either tick it a like, okay. a dislike, a comment, whatever it may be, or just watch it and move on. If they are watching your content through somebody else and through somebody else alone, it's because they're wanting to consume the content of that person. They're wanting the take of that person, the person who's watching the video. And then they wouldn't come to you anyway. So there's going to be a ton of people who are watching the videos that, that uh, he reacts to. I, I think that could be true, right? I mean, that, that could be true. Personally, I think it really just, if it's a net neutral, it's probably because some people watch my reaction instead of the original video. And then I think there's also other people that watch the uh, that watch the reaction and then they continue watching his videos directly later on. And which, which group is larger, I think they generally just probably cancel each other out. For very, very small content creators, I do think that watching their videos is probably a net positive. But for anybody with, let's say, over 100,000 subs, uh, in many, many opportunity, many chances, it is probably just neutral. And they wouldn't come to the source in any, regardless. They wouldn't come to me. They wouldn't yeah. come to T and E. They wouldn't come to Nixium. They wouldn't come to uh, anyone else. They were just watching it because they want to have Zach's Asmund Gold's take on that video. Yeah. And because yeah. you go through the video, you pause it, you you give your thoughts or whatever it may okay. be. You have. Your discussion okay. at the end, you are you are behaving in a transformative manner. You are watching that bit of content and you are turning it into something. Right. I've yes, that's this, right. I've watched this. I'm turning it this into is content. This my opinion. This is my take. That's the way it goes. It's not one of these old school reactions where you just have somebody sat in the corner going, uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, dude, you remember that back on YouTube in like 2012? I remember there was these two girls who would sit there and watch videos, and I thought it was the dumbest fucking thing ever. And they'd just be like doing their nails or something, and there was nothing at all about it. Yeah, I forgot what it was even called. Doesn't even matter. Reply, yeah, Reply Girls. That's what it was. And um, they would just say nothing at all. It was the weirdest fucking thing. I, I, and I remember every video everybody hated too because they were just so fucking bad. It was so weird, man. Uh, Ray William Johnson. I don't remember who it actually was, okay? I have no idea. Uh, can somebody invite me to a realm where uh, Russ feathers up? I need to kill him on this character, too. Uh, okay, next video. No, no, that, that is not transformative. No. If it provokes a discussion, if it provokes um, some points that you need to address, then that is transformative, and they've got every right to do that sort of thing. So I ain't got yeah. any problem with that uh, whatsoever. So... Let's just kind of wrap this up because I know this has been going around a little bit and around a little okay. bit. Okay. The simple fact is, to me, this looks like somebody who can't get, uh, can't take what they give. Somebody that is is quite happy uh, to be uh, open uh, <laughs> to criticise others uh, who are below them. Uh, because they understand that they're not likely to get that much blowback from that situation. But once they go after somebody who is high on the pecking order, Interesting that opinion. person, I believe, has every right to respond. That's right. Of Just course they do. Just because they have a high number doesn't make you impervious to criticism back. Oh, wow. What's that? Especially True. when you're in the same field of work. True. Especially when you do the same thing. You stream, True. you do YouTube videos. You want to go after a streamer, you want to go after a YouTuber. You are leveling yourself open to receive criticism from those sources back on yourself. Interesting And when opinion. you get blowback, when you get that criticism back on yourself, suddenly you want to play victim. Oh, But hey, 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 it's not the first hypocrite we're ever going to find. Hey. It won't be the last hey. either. Hey. I think uh, I think Zach's got every right to respond. 
Uh, I will say one thing. There is one thing I will say to, to Ender. There is one point that I actually do agree with t and &E on. And that point is doing the, uh, the spit emote on people who bought the store mount. Now, I'm no fan of store mounts. You know that. Uh, but I don't think we need to go into that level. You know, if somebody wants to purchase it, it's their money. They can do with as they want. So, yeah. Is that what I'm trying to say? Zach's not infallible. You know? No, of course not. not I say I say wrong uh, shit all the time. That wasn't even your idea. The, that was my the ability idea. To not make mistakes. He's gonna make mistakes. I think it's everyone a great idea, makes though. mistakes. We're human. We learn from it. And I, I don't think that was a take, and that is something I do agree with TNE on. I don't think that was a good take by Asmund Gold to, to say. I didn't see his video. I know that he did a video on the the store mount and the goodwill and all that kind of stuff. Yep. But and by that he, is something he, that you you've got everything to learn Twitch from. And, Cat Danny, and that right? is something which you've you've got to uh, think to yourself, was it the right thing to do? Now, I don't think it was the right thing to do, but if he still thinks it is, that is his prerogative to do so. It's not in a breach of any TOS, because at the end of the day, that emo exists in the game. So whether I don't, I don't think just from a just from a imagine um, thinking emoting somebody is harassment. What's the best way to phrase this? Just from a commonsensical, I think would be the best way. Point of view, I don't think it was the cleverest thing to do. If Blizzard had any issue with it, they wouldn't have the emote in the game in the first place. Oh you know? wow! It is there to be provocative. It's yeah. there for the role players as well. Yeah. But it is a provocative thing. So if it's used in a provocative manner, I can understand, even though I don't personally agree but yeah if you want to if you want to give it you've got to be open to taking it it's as simple as that hey. uh so there we go you live I think by I'll the sword and die up. by the Hope sword that's the way it goes <laughs> if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and twitch for live streaming links there in the description box down below and i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now okay Okay, all right, there's a lot to talk about here. Just a second, let me let me go ahead. I'm gonna I'm link the video to you guys. Here's the video right here. There's a video. Now, I don't wanna, like, again, I don't wanna get into the spit thing. I, I think that it's important to, uh, to shame people who support the individual practices because that's where you have to stop it at. If people keep doing it, if you create a negative social, uh, it's like, it's like wearing a MAGA hat, you know, is that people don't want to wear MAGA hats as much in public because they're worried about a negative social consequence. If you create a social consequence for something, you diminish its influence. So spitting on people is a social consequence. And if you create that, then less people are going to do it. If less people do it, it'll make storm mounts less prevalent. OK, that's like logically that, that that is why I decided to do that. We can talk about that all day, but the point is still the same. Thank you very much, as I really fucking appreciate it. Thank you for the video. I, I actually, I do want to say, guys, uh, I do really appreciate everybody coming out. Actually, you know what? We wanted to do TOS, right, McConnell? Yeah, only plate. Uh, I mean, like, let, let's get at least a few people that aren't. We'll Literally get, like, only plate. Let's get, like, 15 plate and, like, 10 not plate. I think that's no, what makes because sense. because I, I, I need the belt, I need the legs, and I need the boots. And if you don't get more plate... It's not going to drop. Okay, fine. I'll get 20 plate. Okay, we're probably not going to be able to do KJ, but who cares? Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, so by telling people to spin on storm mounts, you're being an influencer? Well, yeah, I mean, by definition. I mean, uh, but yeah, sure. I mean, that that's fine. But the, the point, obviously, is love Asmogol responded to punching down thing. He said, don't punch up, punch back. 100% Asmogol will react to this. You know, the drama got real when Hill versus BFH reports on it. Streamers aren't responsible for their audience actions unless they're actively promoting specific behaviors. I love how the video is seen just by seeing the thumbnail. And Hill versus BFH reacts to Asmogol's reaction of Talisman's reaction to Asmogol's original reaction to Talisman. We have to go deeper. I'm sure we will tomorrow. 100% uh, agree with you, As. Uh, I was wondering when Hill was going to hit back at TV's constant jabs at him. Uh, TNA throws hate like a little child. Somebody said that uh, that they apologized. Uh, if somebody yeah, they wants, did. they did. Yeah. Can you give me a link? At the, a link to the clip. Sure. Here you go. Okay. Is it the the one that got linked in chat? Uh, I linked it to you. Okay. All right. So we'll see here.
sorry again to Asmongold for. I would like to say sorry again to Asmongold for. A. Talking about it on stream at all, in that kind of way, and being stupid enough to think that he wouldn't see it while we formulated that idea. And it appearing to him like we were talking specifically about him and me being stupid enough to do that um, and using hypotheticals because we were using him as an example because he's the biggest WoW streamer and I would like to say sorry again to Asmongold for okay um... alright there you go you won dude you, you apologize and we are very small uh, no you accepted it down. you're going to accept it and then we can all move on now, and we don't have to talk about this that's obviously the next... a joke uh, and if you remember what I said I would like to say sorry again. Um. Well. That's not an apology? Wait, well, how's that not an apology? Um. Check the VOD, it's fake. What do you mean it's fake? It's the wrong clip. Wait, no, what do you mean it's the wrong clip? Out of context. Does this go deeper? Okay. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it goes any deeper than what we just saw. Okay. I think, uh, I think that was a, you know, an apology that he gave. And he said he was sorry. And there's not really much else to, to uh, discuss there. Um, yeah, I mean, if that's it. Like, let's see, the plot thickens. Yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing any other clip. He said it's a joke. Literally recanted it. Well, then find me the clip of him recanting it, then. Well, well, then, yeah, I mean, I, I, if I can't see that, people are saying, oh, he, he said he did, it was just kidding. Like, well, then where's the clip of that? Uh, link it to a mod, and they'll link it, okay? Okay, uh, real BMP, I uh, should be able to do it. We'll, we'll, we'll see what this is going to be, okay, guys? Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a second. And if I can find a uh, a link, then, you know, great. Okay, just give me one second. Asmund Gold, TOS, Mythic, Plates. Okay, minimum item level, I don't know, 410. Uh, let's make sure we get some good players in here. Okay, uh, McConnell, all right. Uh, let's do this. Here we go. This is your only chance to do TOS because nobody else ever does it. So let's go plate warriors. Let's do it. Okay. How many have we gotten in so far? Perfect. Okay. Oops. I didn't invite mean to invite your friend. There we go. Your friend is removed and so are you. Okay. Uh, give me one second. All right. I don't like whenever people ask for a group invite. It's annoying. So I kick them out. Okay. Just give me one second here. Good apology. Yeah, I mean, if I'm not seeing a if I'm not seeing a clip of something else, then he said at the end of the video you just saw. Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, I'm not. The thing is that like, if if he's apologizing, then it is what it is. But I mean, I, I don't know. People are saying it's fake. Check the, check the fourth clip below. I would like to. Uh, say once again how sorry I am to people that were disappointed in the way I spoke to my chat. So am I. I would like to say sorry again to Asmongold for A. Talking about it on stream at all, in that kind of way, and being stupid enough to think that he wouldn't see it while we formulated that idea. Okay. And it appearing to him like we were talking specifically about him and me being stupid enough to do that. Um, and using hypotheticals, because we were using him as an example, because he's the biggest WoW streamer and okay. creator by miles, with the, like, by, by the biggest audience by fucking miles. Um, so he's the obvious example of someone with a big audience. And I'm sorry if I got caught up in talking about him specifically and making it sound like I was accusing him of stuff. I regret that. I take it back. I would like... Okay. All right. Great. There we go. Um, okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, I mean, like, no, the thing is that, like, here's the chat's line. No, listen. I, I mean, it was, he so oh, I'm sorry, sorry, got caught or whatever. I don't really care. Right? I mean, it, the only thing is he's sorry, say sorry, did it. And, and, and that's it. 
right? I mean, what else really is there to say? Um, 